Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips, and today we're going to be looking at the golf swing of Tony Finau. We're going to break down a few things about Tony's swing that any golfer can learn from. Obviously, we're not all PGA Tour professionals, but there are certainly things that we can take away from their swing and their positioning towards the ball that can make us a better golfer in turn. So let's start off by addressing Tony's setup to the ball. One thing that I've always found pretty interesting about Tony's swing, even with driver, is he does have a fairly narrow stance and not a ton of uh, spine tilt off the ball. And now when I say spine tilt off the ball, I'm talking about a right-handed golfer dropping that right shoulder a little bit further down, especially with driver, to get that higher ball flight. Uh, another way to get that higher ball flight with driver especially is by having a stance that's a little bit further apart, a stable base. Uh, and Finau contradicts both of those. He has a more narrow stance. Uh, the, the spine tilt isn't there, but he still bombs the ball, even with a short backswing. So what this narrow stance allows him to do is quite simply be more stable and more controlled in the backswing. When you think about it, if you have a very wide stance, while you are creating a more stable base, there's a little bit more room and width in the golf swing that can negatively affect you. So by having a narrow stance, um, you are absolutely restricting your body. Don't get me wrong. If you want a nice wide turn, do not have a narrow stance. But for someone like Tony, who's a huge guy, a strong guy, he doesn't need that wide stance. So if you at home are naturally a stronger individual, uh, a, a fairly large body, um, and you can get away with a shorter backswing while still generating power, narrowing up your stance can certainly help. Now let's talk about the short backswing of Tony Fino. And for the sake of this video, I'm not going to refer to it as a backswing necessarily, but I'm going to refer to it as an arm swing. So let's talk about Tony's short arm swing. The reason that I call it an arm swing is because Fino's arms don't go as far back as say a Justin Thomas or a Rory McIlroy, one of these people with long fluid swings, but his upper body turn is still massive. He's very flexible, like I said earlier, very strong. And I think that that's a big reason why he can create the power. Now, it is important to note that before Tony got onto the PGA Tour, he actually did have a fairly standard length arm swing. And the main downturn of having that was that he couldn't control the ball very well. He wasn't hitting it off the center of the face. He was very, very long. He's always been able to hit the ball a mile, but he lacked the accuracy that is required to take him to the next level. So what he did was he kept his rotation, he kept his flexibility and strength and used that as an asset, but he shortened up the swing, which may, yes, have taken a few yards off of his drives, but it actually made him much more precise on the club face, meaning he strikes the ball much more squarely. And in turn, because you strike the ball more squarely, you are going to hit the ball further. So it almost canceled out. So the big lesson to learn from that aspect of Fino swing is shortening up the golf swing can absolutely be beneficial if the shortening of the arm swing is going to allow you to make better contact with the ball. Contact is always king. Another thing that we can certainly notice in this head-on face view or the caddy face view is the straightening of the, of the left leg um, and a pretty intense straightening of the left leg and leveraging of the ground is common amongst all great ball strikers, common amongst all people who can hit the ball out there a mile. You see Tony actually lifts the, uh, the toes of that front foot a little bit. That's just a sign of weight transferring, uh, proper weight transferring. You see that those toes start to come up right at the moments before impact. And then at impact, that leg is perfectly straight, meaning that he is utilizing the ground super, super efficiently to get after the ball. So if you find your front leg in the golf swing, the left leg for a right-handed golfer, if you find that is still being bent uh, especially at impact. What that is, is it's restricting your ability to uh, shift weight and you're not leveraging the ground for power. So by straightening out that left leg, not only are you gonna see some more consistent ball striking, but you're going to see the ball go much further, especially with driver. Um, the straightening of that left leg will inherently clear the hips and that lower body action, the, the torsion through impact there is going to make a huge difference in your swing. So a lot of people film their swing uh, from the down the line angle. That's what we see um, all the time on you know Instagram, Facebook, or even watching golf on the television. But filming your golf swing from the caddy view as shown here uh, is a great way to be able to recognize 
recognize not only the movement of that front leg like we were talking about, but it'll also help you really visualize the length of your backswing as well, which is something that we've talked about. So this is definitely a great view to film yourself with, uh, just so that you have more familiarity with the concepts brought up in this video. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the golf swing of Tony Finau. Now, there are always things that I am going to recognize that other people won't and vice versa. So if you have any thoughts on things that I mentioned or failed to mention, leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoy this type of content, feel free to like the video. It helps YouTube show this content to more people who will find it helpful. It also helps me see what type of content the audience is enjoying so that I can tailor future content to your needs. And finally, please subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel. We appreciate the support. The channel is growing very well. Um, so happy to put these videos out for you guys and if what we can put out helps you become more confident on the golf course then we're doing a good job and we get a lot of fulfillment from that so uh, feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notifications if you want to see our future uploads thank you all very much for watching play well and take care